Alright guys, so the last step before adding the belts and the wires is going to be putting this part together. So, if I remember right, this is actually going to sit up here in the very most back extrude piece. Okay, yeah, so this, this part here, the middle two bolts are going to sit on the second from the back extrude slot. And then everything else is going to sit. Oh, no, no, I was, no, I was wrong. It's going to sit in the very most for this back section because you want the um, motor to be able to adjust. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get the motor attached on here furthest on the back and I think I'm going to put the wires facing inward. So the, the screws that you have here are the M3 by 8s. There's four of them. I added M6 washers as I always do with these type of Allen bolts here it's because I like to be safe, safer than sorry. Okay, we're gonna finger tight that. I'm gonna do that with all four onto the motor mount here. And I'm leaving these loose on purpose because you're gonna wanna adjust them when we uh, get the belt on there. That's how you're gonna tighten your belt on both the Z's, the Z rods. There's gonna be a closed loop and I did realize that in order to get the belts over the Z loops, I shouldn't have put those red pieces on yet. So I don't know why they didn't mention that in the manual. Could be changed. Um, other than that, it should be pretty simple. Just take off the red pieces and then loop the belts over the Z's. Okay, this one's acting a little bit tough. I want to make sure that goes in straight. So I'm going to uh, start using an Allen wrench here. Perfect. Maybe it had a burr on it or something. So I'm going to pull that all the way forward. And then, so this is going to mount this way with the motor facing backwards. So we're going to put our T nut bolts through the bottom facing upwards. So from the top, that means going downwards and I'm adding the M8 washer to these bolts here. Even though it's a metal bracket, I'm just going to add them anyway. Then we add our T-nuts here. I'm just going to get those nice and flush down there. So now here is the main thing I wanted to do first before I actually add this. I'm going to add that and uh, adjust it after I get the belts on there so we can align it with the Z ones. Uh, this one, we are going to add the bolt, then the pulley, okay, then the brass shim, and then a nut. And I'm just going to snug this nut on there pretty much finger tight with uh, the help of a little tiny Allen wrench. Okay, just, whoops, just till it uh, lets it spin there. It's pretty much, yeah, just finger tight. I'll probably add some uh, silicone to these. I probably should do that actually first. Okay, so silicone. Here comes the magical silicone. Feels better already. Brass shim, nut. It actually wants to get on there. There it goes. Okay, get those pulleys nice and loose just so they spin and then we're going to actually screw these into the top right here like this okay that way when we mount it the pulleys will be facing downwards Make my finger snug these okay so that nut actually needs to be pulled back or else it's not going to tighten very well so I'm just use my allen wrench here i'm hitting the nut back a little bit this isn't working very well i have to find a different solution to tightening this Okay, my needle nose gets in there. So I have to use a little tiny wrench, tighten the nut to the actual bracket instead of instead of the bolt here. Good, perfect. So now we're gonna mount this to the top here. I'm not sure I quite want it dead center though. I guess I'll just keep it dead center. So now we're gonna mount it to the very back most extrusion piece here. Oh, I got that one first try. Okay, and I'm going to measure from end to end to make sure this is actually center. So we're about 8 inches on this side and 9 and a half on here. So we need to go 8 and 3 quarters. Let's measure again. We need to go further than that. Okay, we'll see where we're at there. It's about 8 and a half. It's about 8 and an eighth. And that's about, yeah, I'd say that's pretty much dead center. I'm off by maybe less than an eighth of an inch. So now I'm going to attach this to my shaft here. I'm going to turn that to the flat side facing me. So I'm going to have to actually put it on this way with the gear teeth facing up in order for it to align correctly. Align, I should say. And then we'll just tighten it on there. Hmm, actually, you know what? I'm going to see if I can actually. Okay, so on this one, I actually had to loosen the lock bolts so I can shove this all the way up to this uh, where the stepper motor can actually sit flush against the. I mean, the stepper gear pulley can sit flush with the stepper motor because it wouldn't line up with these pulleys. So I just had to get it a little bit past where the flat post is and just lock it against the the, the shaft there. So now I'm gonna try and get the bolt the belt on that that side and get that over with. Okay, this is gonna be a pain in the. A hole. I'm not going to do any adjustments to our aluminum bracing because we got that square. 
we do have to take off this red bracket that's holding our Z shaft or Z rod and the bearing because we got to get the belt over them. So now, instead of doing anything crazy, we're just going to take off the red plate, slip the belt through here, okay, just off to the side so it pops up here, pull it around the Z shaft, and then boom, immediately throw your red plate back on and get that aligned and tightened. Cool. And now we're going to do the same exact thing for the other side. So we still have a little bit of slack to be able to do that. I'm not sure if you can see that. So I'm going to do that really quick on the other side. And we're trying to do this quick just so the printer doesn't have any time to relax into any new positions. It keeps your adjustment right where it was. Wow, I had that one really tight. So I want to make sure I pull this where the teeth are facing the right way. Okay, put the teeth with the Z rod, the belt over it, and down here. Boom, belt's on. Get that bearing attached nice and quick like okay so now before we do any belt attachments I want to make sure that this is actually perfectly square and we have it exact same height on both sides so we have it at almost three and a half here so I'm gonna actually turn this and raise this side exactly to three and a half inches from where my ruler sits into the bottom extrude groove and the very bottom of my x-axis extrude. So this side needs to come up a little bit too. All right, now we're both exactly at three and a half. That way we know that it's gonna go up and down evenly. So now what we can do here is we can set these guys. So I have them kind of just sitting on there. I had them just barely loosely sitting on there nice and snug. Okay, so now I'm gonna kind of get them where I think they're aligning with the pulleys on top. I'm going to lightly, very, very lightly set that screw. I'm gonna put one belt through here, one belt through here, and then I gotta adjust that motor completely forward, and then I'm gonna try and do the other side. So loosen my set screw I had set here. Bring this up. Okay, so I'm gonna actually align it on here. Put this belt through here. Nice and uh, loose. I'm going to lightly set this here, and then I'm going to pull back on this motor. Oh, I've got to make sure that this belt is on this one. I'm going to pull back on this motor here until that belt is aligning right. So something is a little bit off, and it's this guy here on the right side. So I'm going to actually just set this motor mount where I'm just barely pulling it back until I can get these belts to line up perfectly evenly. So as you can see, when I move the right side down, that belt becomes parallel with the center pulleys, and that's exactly what I want. Now that I got this right side where I want it, I'm going to tighten these set screws both sides with my finger tightness, and then I'm going to tighten them a little bit more with the other side. So now I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing again on this side. You may not see it on camera, but this side looks like it's a little bit high. Perfect. Okay, so now I'm going to loosen my motor mounts up in the middle here while pulling on it still. And then I'm going to pull this back as much as I can by hand force. And then I'm going to tighten it right where I can get it. And I'm going one side at a time, left and right. And I'd say that's pretty good. Your belts should always sound like this. Like a little guitar string. Whew. Now here's the cool test. You're gonna pull on the belt, and when you do so, you should see your access rising nice and even. So I'm gonna rise it all the way as far as it can go. Or actually that should be enough. And what I'm doing here is I'm gonna check to see that it rows up nice and evenly. So we're exactly at 10 and a quarter here. And I am, yeah, I would say literally a 64th to in between a 64th and 32nd of an inch off a quarter inch on this side. So I mean, I can always loosen the belt and just barely twist that and then tighten the belt again, which I might do eventually later on in the video, but right now I'm not going to. So the next and final awesome step is to mount the heat bed. So I can't wait for that. These screws, I wish were a lot longer. I might reverse the nylon locks before I put it on, but I think for now it should be okay. I mean, it still binds a little bit because of the stepper motor over there. I'm probably getting hot by doing that, but yeah, anyway, let's mount this thing. <laughs> 